Consider a speed time graph as shown below for a body in motion. The graph is a straight line starting from 0, 0 and ends at 10.0, 20.0. Therefore, we can calculate the acceleration as the gradient of the speed time graph A equals to gradient equals to 20.0 divided by 10.0 giving us 2.00 meter per second squared. But is it the acceleration of the body? Well, not really. The gradient of the speed time graph will be equal to the acceleration only when the body is moving along a straight line. For a body not moving along a straight line, the gradient of the speed time graph is just the rate of increase of speed. If you contrast this with the definition of acceleration, you quickly realize that acceleration is not just the increase in speed per unit time, but rather the change in velocity per unit time. The change in velocity per unit time is a vector quantity. And what do we mean by a change in a vector? We are talking about the change in the velocity vector. Whenever we say change in velocity per unit time, what we mean is how much the velocity vector has changed in a unit time interval. If you remember well, a vector has both a magnitude and a direction. So a vector can be changed by changing its magnitude or its direction or both. Remember also that speed is simply the magnitude of the velocity vector. Hence, a change in velocity per unit time can mean First, an increase or decrease in speed per unit time without a change in direction. This situation is referred to as a straight line motion. And in this case, the value of the acceleration is equal to the rate of increase or decrease in speed. The rate of decrease in speed is simply the deceleration. In this case, the gradient of the speed time graph will always be equal to the acceleration. A second situation where velocity changes is the situation where a body is moving at a constant speed but is continuously changing direction with time. In other words, we say that the body has a change in direction per unit time. This is a case of uniform circular motion whereby a body is moving at a constant speed but its direction is continuously changing. In other words, it has a rate of change of direction. This type of acceleration whereby the speed remains constant but only the direction is changing is given a special name called the centripetal acceleration. When a body is accelerating without a change in the speed, meaning it does not go faster or slower, then we say it is undergoing a centripetal acceleration. Consider a body moving uniformly at 20 meters per second along a circle of radius 100 meter. And if you plot the speed time graph of a body moving at constant speed of 20 meter per second along a circle of radius 100 meter, then you will obtain simply a horizontal line at v equals to 20.0. The gradient of a horizontal line on a speed time graph is interpreted as zero acceleration. 
But anyone who has some knowledge about circular motion knows that the acceleration is given by A equals to V squared upon R, where V is the speed and R is the radius of the circle. For our case, the speed is 20 meter per second and the radius is 100 meter. So we substitute V equals to 20 and R equals to 100 meter and we obtain the acceleration as a equals to 4.0 meter per second square, even though the gradient of our graph is zero. So remember this, the gradient of a speed time graph is equal to acceleration only for a body moving in a straight line. If you like the video, then click the like button, subscribe on the channel and share the video. Thank you very much. Until next time.